I'm back and pooped. Whew, back on the bike, back getting some fresh air. Sun's coming up, a little over 50 degrees here in Florida. So not cold where you're at, but it's still chilly where we're at. Anywho, whew, welcome to day one of work in 2024 and episode three, January 2nd. Welcome to 2024, guys. Did I just say 2023? Hell, I don't even know. Hard to keep up, right? I'm just getting started. Oh, this is gonna be a long year. But but I'm turning 50, so I'm getting old. That's my excuse, I'm going with it. Anywho, let's get in, get some coffee. We'll see you in a bit. All right, and just like that, the day is over. What a crazy day. First day back um, to like full-fledged work and there's messages and there's there's all kinds of stuff going on. So, to top all of that off, I don't know if I'd said this in the video before, but today, Gma Badger went and had a hip surgery, a hip replacement surgery. So, um, she uh, was going to go to there. They live in an RV, if I haven't told you that before. I'll catch you up. They bought an RV about a year ago when they were living with us. Then they moved in the RV. Well, the RV's got like five steps to get up it. And, um, Originally, they were planning on, you know, her having the surgery and then, you know, going into the RV. Well, after the surgery, um, I think they thought different of that. And uh, watching her get into our house, there's no way we were getting her up those stairs. But anyway, so they're here at our house um, till she recovers. So we got g -Ma and g -Pa Badger hanging out with us as well. The whole Badger family's at the Badger Den. But uh, anyway my subject for today. So, you know, I talked to yesterday about a jobby, right? That's uh, where you take a hobby and it turned into a job. Um, some people have, you know, like classified our job as influencers. So um, we're what they call social media influencers. Um, when I think about that, I've been thinking about it a lot in the past, like 30, 60 days. I don't really want to influence you to do anything. Um, the only thing I do want to influence you to do is chase your dreams, live your best life, ride your motorcycle as much as possible, find hobbies, enjoy life. Um, you know, life's too short to not do something you love. So, I mean, that would be my only influence to anybody, hopefully, is um, live your best life. Go out and do what you want to do. And if you're currently working a job that you hate, then find a way to do what you want to do. Um, we live in kind of a phenomenal era right now. Like, there are a million ways to make money all from just your phone let alone a camera, internet. I mean, it's just, it's crazy. And, you know, I've been looking for hobbies, right? So um, the RC hobby, uh, there are there are big channels that just do RC stuff, um, YouTube channels, um, social media influencers. Um, there are, I bought the PS5, right? So not having paid any attention to that, I started to look up, you know, different things for the PS5. Like I do anytime I go to buy something. What's the best? Xbox, PS5. You know, I started doing my research. There are people that that's what they influence on is um, is video gaming. So, I mean, whatever it is, um, Hot Wheels. Like, I've been watching a lot of that stuff. It's kind of cool, right? I liked Hot Wheels as a kid. I'm not a collector, but there are some big collectors out there. But they're talking about that. Um, cars, motorcycles, I mean, any of those genres, anything you love, there's an audience for it. Um, so if it's something that you really love doing, grab you a camera, grab you a phone, um, start making you some posts. I mean, whatever it is that gets you more involved in whatever in life you want to do. Um, because you can do it. Uh, are you going to have to work hard? Sure, but you work hard now. Um, the other thing that people have told me, well, I don't want to take my fun hobby and make it a job. So my thoughts on that is, well, if that's the case, I would rather work at my hobby for five days and then spend my weekend doing something shitty. So would you rather work five days at a bad job to have two days you enjoy, or would you rather enjoy five days and, and have two days that well, you enjoy too? <laughs> you just do something different. But 
that's neither here nor there. If you really want to do it, you can figure it out. But um, that's it. That was my subject for today. I was just like, you know, I've been thinking a lot about this. And, um, you know, social media influencing is such a big thing. And then there are people that hate the influencers and people that, that love them. And, you know, with AI coming up, that's going to be another huge issue. At least, at least for me, I think it is. Um, the next couple of years, you're not going to be able to watch a video and know if it's real, know if it's fake. Um, I mean, they can literally make up motorcycles um, and say, well, I saw a video, I don't know, maybe a month ago, and it said that there was an electric Harley Davidson fat boy. And they had a video of what looked like a fat boy with an electric motor. It was all AI generated. Harley doesn't have an electric fat boy, but that is what is coming. Um, we will be able to take AI and generate something that doesn't exist and then present it to the public as if it does exist. And you, as a public, are going to have to decipher if that's real or if it's fake. Um, and man, I think we talk about misinformation, right? Fake news. Well, it's getting ready to go to a whole nother level. I mean, what happens when the news channels start doing that, right? Why send the reporter out to do it? We'll just make up an AI-generated video of a bank robbery, and that'll be our news for the day. I mean, what, what's stopping them from doing that? Um, nothing. And that's what all the YouTubers have at their hands and the Facebookers and all of us. Um, I refuse. For now, anyway. I refuse to do anything AI. You will get real stuff from me. You'll get me in the videos doing stuff like this, riding across the country, fixing it, whatever that may be, but it'll be me. I promise you that. It'll not be fake. It'll be real. I'll have to have my hands on it before I show it to you. Anywho, that was my subject for today. Um, I just popped out here because, uh, like I said, mom just got here. She's getting settled in the house, and I need to get this video shot. I hope you guys have a wonderful day today, and we will see you all tomorrow.